Hey guys, it's Cody Archie from Mar 7 Ranch and we're going to go through and, and show you how our cleaners operation works in this video today. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, let us know what kind of cleaning you do. Are you a dry clean? You do dry cleaning? You get laundry done? You not do anything at all? Let us know. Stay tuned. Good morning, y'all. So my dry cleaning man that does all the dry cleaning runs the basically runs the cleaners in the back portion back here where all the pressing and everything goes on is off on vacation this week so it's about 5 a.m and we're going to get started for the day so i'm going to walk you through our morning routine so first thing we're going to do is turn on all the lights i go ahead and turn the swamp cooler on it's uh what's up above here runs through these big ducts so it's kind of like an air conditioner, but not really. So what it does is it pulls in the outside air, runs it through a mat that's got water dripping down through it, cools the air off and then blows it in. So it makes it a little cooler in here. So I go ahead and turn it on first thing in the morning just to, just to kind of get everything cooled off and going. So, so we got that started now. Um, next thing we're gonna do, I was gonna go open some doors, but we're, we're gonna go in here and get this started. That door slams hard. So this is the, basically the heart of the whole operation. That's what I call it. It's the boiler. So it boils water, pumps it up, um, uses that steam from the boil that it creates, pushes it all the way through the, through the plant to run all the machines and give them the heat they need to press. And then when it comes back, it comes back to this return tank right here, the, the condensate does and then it goes right back into the boiler. So it just keeps recirculating over and over. And then we've got the air compressor that, ru that runs the presses. It opens and closes the presses. Um, so we're gonna get those two guys cranked off this morning. First though, let's open this door right here. This goes to the outside. That boiler gets... Sorry. That boiler gets really hot. Uh, makes this room almost unbearable sometimes. So open this up it comes out here there's old whitey bob just kind of keeps it cooled off a little bit and uh we're constantly in and out through here through that door into the plant and then it goes um, back out to the outside so we're going back and forth to the laundromat and uh i'm in here a lot or pedro is too because of the we have a big steam dryer in here that we use to dry a lot of stuff so first we're going to crank off the boiler It'll take it fired up. It's going to get loud. I'm going to turn the air compressor on. It's going to pump, start pumping up. Okay, so so that's going to get started for us. Um, just going to give you a real quick tour here around the. So these two washing machines here or where we do all the laundry side washing. So here on the left is the machine that we mainly wash blue jeans in. This is one I mainly do shirts and stuff like that. Over here, this is a vacuum pump, this tan thing. Um, really, it used to run the whole plant was on this, on this pump, but all of our new equipment, let me show you here. They all have their own built-in vacuums on the dry cleaning clothes or dry cleaning presses so we don't really use that for anything other than this spotting board so what this spotting board does is when you swing this arm over it creates a suction through here so that as you're using different chemicals to spot clothes with that need cleaning um, it sucks it through there and then uh, gets it gets it cleaned out of there so <clears throat> next to the vacuum we have this is the starch cooker so we cook our, this is powdered cornstarch. That's what we use to starch our blue jeans to get that cowboy starch or that real heavy starch. This is just a little washing machine. If you just got one or two pieces of clothing, instead of running it in one of the big ones, we just pitch it in there. Um, these are, this is what we call a Susie. This is what like your dresses, your blazers, sports coats, stuff like that go on. This is just a little utility, uh, a puff iron is what you call it so you can use different 
steam comes out of those three different heads whenever you step on the foot feed down there. And this is just a utility press for pressing shirts and stuff on on the dry cleaning side. We've already done a video on a lot of this and I'm gonna show you how some of this stuff works when the girls get here, but this is our shirt pressing station. This is a, what you call a collar cuff machine. It does the collars and the cuffs. This guy does the bodies of the shirt and then we use this to press sleeves. And then if you saw our video about how we press, are putting in this equipment here, this is our pants station. And then of course back there is the dry cleaning machine. So. So that's kind of how we get started. Uh, I've got to blow the boiler down, which means I'll put some uh, some chemicals in there that keep you know the rust and everything down in the lines. Uh, just kind of keeps the good keeps the boiler going like it ought to go. And uh, so yeah, um, that doesn't look right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up front. I'm gonna take me a buggy here. We're gonna go up front and get all, get start getting the clothes back here so we can get started. So we, or I say we, Pedro starts around 5 a.m. and he starts pressing so that the girls, when they get here around 6 a.m., 6.30, they can get started uh, pressing. So he washes so that they can get started pressing. So I'm gonna show you guys right here. So, this is our dry cleaning basket, heavy starch, medium starch, and light starch. You can see light starch is our number one, uh, what everybody picks the most. And then right over here, we have a, what we call our press only. I know it's kind of looks rough in here, but Marcella gets here first thing in the morning. She kind of straightens up a little bit here. So um, we're gonna load this stuff into our buggy and take it back there and start separating it. That way we can get started washing so that the girls will have plenty of stuff to do when they get here. They're not standing around waiting on us. So let's see if we can set this thing up. Now I could make two loads, but what's the fun in that? You know, what's the fun in that? So this is something show you guys so we've got a special here we tagged these it says so 11 a.m. so somebody said they had to have this by 11 a.m. so we're gonna be sure that gets done in the first couple of loads so all right y'all stay tuned okay so one of the big questions we get asked all the time or one of the most often asked questions is how do we keep up with everything when we get it all sorted like this you know when we wash everybody's stuff in there together how in the world do we keep it all what's going on there how do we keep it all straight so every item that comes in here gets one of these barcodes put on it okay and what that does is that tracks that item it lets us know where it's at and where it's uh where it's at in its stage of production. Has it been stocked in? Is it finished and on the rack? Where it's at on the rack? So that's how we keep up with it. Each item has its own barcode. It just gets one when it first comes in. And what that does is that that protects you as a customer and protects me as an owner because if you come in and say, hey, Cody, you know, I dropped these things off yesterday and they got a big old rip in them now and they were brand new. Well, I can pull it up and see that, hey, you're right. It's only been here once. That protects you. But if I look it up and say, hey, you know, John, this thing's been here 65 times. It started in 2004. You know, it's 18 years old, whatever it is. Then I don't, then I'm not going to replace that when it's that old. I mean, it's got, it's, it's outlived its lifespan or, um, so, so that's how we keep up with it. And that's how we use it to protect you. And then what we do with that is you see here, these tickets that has the same name on it. So every one of these articles of clothing have a corresponding ticket in there you know there'll be like maybe five or six of them on the ticket and then that's how we keep up with it so when they get done with the cleaning process and the pressing process they get hung up there with their tickets when everything on that ticket is in there then it gets put in a plastic bag and put on the rounder so there you go 
All right, guys, so everything's in full swing right now, and I wanted to show y'all our blue jean station. So this is Rosie. This is a double topper that we installed. So she's going to put them on and press the tops. So you make four turns. You get the... Go ahead, Rosie. Yeah. So that's on a, about a two-minute timer while that one's doing. She's pressing a top on this one and a leg down here. So she finished that leg, she's gonna flip them over, put the other leg on, smooth it out, make sure the crease is in the right spot. Then when she closes it, same thing, it'll stay closed for two minutes. And then she's gonna rotate around. She's got a top and a leg going on this one and a top and a leg going on this one. So I wanna show y'all something. So this is called a hothead. When you squirt watch this, so it if that touches you, it'll burn you the burn the fire out of you. So here you can see this green button and that green button over there. So it's designed to where you push it with both hands so you can't smush your hand in there. And then this guy right here, if if that pushes up as it comes down, it won't let it close either to keep it from pushing you from burning you. So that's the laundry station for pants. Then over here, we got Nettie, and she's working the dry cleaning side. So you can see that other one, when I squirted water on it, it was hot, it burned you. This one I can touch without burning me, because it's when it closes, the bottom part here sucks the pants down, and the top blows steam through. So here she's got a, this is a topper, and then this side is the legs. She's going to do the same thing that Rosie was doing over on the, laundry side she's going to get them set where she wants to the vacuum has come on she's going to make sure it's right smooth it down hit the close and you hear that little bit of steam blow through there and then the suction sucks that steam through there so that they don't they don't get wet opens on its own and then that side's done she's going to flip it over and do the other side then i'll show you how she runs this one Nettie. Oh, she's got her earphones in. She can't hear me. I'll get her to... So this is a topper. We'll put the pants on here. Between these two lines right here is where the top of the pants goes. And then this guy down here is going to pull it down and grab the bottoms. I'll show you the way she does this here. So, Oh. So she's going to go up. around the back, get it on there, get it where she wants it, bam. And it automatically grabs the bottoms, blows some steam through, releases the, any uh, wrinkles in the pants, then it blows hot air through it, then she'll take it off and crease the legs. So that's how the, the laundry side of pants works. Oh, we gotta turn the starch on, so. Here's the cowboy starch flip this valve it's going to pump up that white hose across the gray one come down and go into the back of the machine here so right now we're on our final rinse cycle it's going to fill that basket full of that starch that i've been cooking over there and what happens is is that final rinse it just rinses those clothes in that starch and then when those pants come out we press them we take them over to rosie and she's going to press them while they're wet until they're dry and then they're done. That's how you get that good, crisp thump to them when you, when you go to open them up. So, all right, I'll show you a little bit about the dry cleaning uh, shirt pressing side here in a minute. All right, so this is the way we do shirts on the dry cleaning side. So again, this top's not hot, the bottom's not hot. So Nettie gets it on there the way it needs to be, closes it, suction starts, steam blows. And then when it raises up, it's pressed and good to go. Any touch up is done with this iron. These are steam irons. That steam's so hot you can't even see the white in it. It's, it's, so we have a really dry steam now. And what I mean by dry is when, you, when the steam comes out, it's, not, it's almost clear because there's not much moisture in it. Um, it's, if we had wet steam, like I'm gonna show you, this is kind of on the end of a line here. 
see how when it first comes out it's pretty white but as it as it goes it's going to clear up um, and it's real real light that means it's real it's a real dry steam and that's the kind of steam you want because it doesn't get the clothes wet so i'm going to show you a little something here so this vacuum right here so when you when you hit on this like i just stepped on it you can hear the vacuum cook pick up i'm going to use my use my snot rag to show you so i'm going to leave it up here kind of loose and when i hit this watch what it does it's going to begin to suck it down let off of it it's gonna it's gonna release so it's just kind of loose there and then when i hit it you see it suck it right down and then when you close it when you close the lid then it blows the steam through so the purpose of that vacuum is to suck that steam through and then get it out of that pad that bottom pad there because without that suction, this pad would become wet throughout the day from the pressing, and then it wouldn't do its job. You could everything would be wet. You don't want your clothes wet when you get through pressing them. You want them dry and, and crisp. So, one of the reasons that we use these steam irons is because whoop, let me turn it around. Because you can't burn clothes with that. If we had electric irons, that's how clothing gets burned. So, um, if if you ever feel like you're your cleaners burnt your clothes with something most of us don't have electric iron so there's really no way to burn it even in these <coughs> hothead presses like this one i mean i can clamp a pair of blue jeans in there for two hours and they're not going to burn them just like the a shirt it won't burn it so if you have burnt stuff then they're using an electric iron and that's a no-no in the dry cleaning business so so i want to show you all how the shirt machine works right here so Rafi's over here working the shirts. She's gonna pull this shirt off of here. This one, the collar and the cuffs already been done on. She's gonna load it up on the machine. You're gonna hear a vacuum kick in and it's gonna pull that shirt to the, to the press. And then she'll straighten out the, the wrinkles on it. She'll clamp in the cuffs on each side. And then this machine is going to pull the sleeves out and blow hot air through it. Here it's, you can watch those sleeves as they dry. They went from that darker color to the lighter. So this machine is drying the shirt. This front part here and the back are pressing the front and back of the shirt. The sleeves are done now, but we can't send it out that way here in Central Texas. So. Over here, Rafi is creasing the sleeves, putting the crease down the down the middle of the sleeve. So she's got a couple going there, and then here she's going to load whoop, load this machine back up and do it again. This machine, you lay the the cuffs or the sleeves on here. You hit the hit the buttons, it closes, and then you lay the collar up here, and then this closes and it's all automated. It runs for a few minutes, dries them, does the collars and the cuffs, and then when it's finished, it opens up automatically. From this machine, it goes on to the body machine. From the body machine, it goes over here and gets the sleeves done. Then it comes to this rack, and then she'll go through this rack and look and see if there's any touch-ups that need to be made. Um, she does that right over here. She'll come over here, use the steam iron right here, to touch those up. Nettie's here working on pants. Pedro's back, so uh, he's getting ready for finish up washing for the day. And Rosie's over here pressing pants. So that's how it works, guys. Guys, thanks for joining us. Um, if you got any questions or comments about dry cleaning, let me know in the bottom and I'll answer them for you. Um, we really appreciate you going through the plant with us and seeing how our day-to-day -day operations work here. And uh, y'all keep washing, keep cleaning, and most of all, keep ranching. <laughs>